good morning friends welcome to my channel today we are going to learn how to create interactive report classic report and interactive grid in oracle apex today we are going to create one table and we will create different type of reports on that table so let's begin so if you want to create a table you can click on sql workshop then sql commands in object browser you can see your tables database tables views procedures package everything so let's click on object browser then here i have employee table so if you want to create table just click on this plus icon then you can choose and select whichever database object you want to create and next so create a sample app click on create then select new application give your application name i will give reports so here appearance <coughs> so if you select here you can select the theme style navigation then your app icon so so there are default four themes are available you can customize these themes then here the navigation menu you can select side navigation top navigation then mega menu this mega menu is introduced in oracle apex 20.1 version so previous version only we have side menu and top menu so i will i like dark color so i will select beta dark then side navigation for the time being we leave the app icon as it is then save changes then here the framework itself added default page home page you can see here application id schema then authentication language here you can see many languages you can default you can create app with different different languages then let's create our application is created let's run the application application is created by default the username and password is your apex workspace username and password so let's I have my workspace email is this one i selected then i logged in so here is the side menu so this portion is called breadcrumb then here you can see the uh, user login then we will edit page number 1 So here you can see the page number one details. At the right side you have page name, then page alias, then title, page group, then appearance, desktop, page mode either normal or pop up. If you want to create pop up, you can select model dialog. Then you can select different different templates. Then you can you can add your own CSS class sign. you can customize the style then you can navigation menu you can override then uh, okay, javascript url if you want to add extra javascript you can add here then if you write if you want to write any extra css uh, function javascript function you can write here then so here css css urls html header custom then footer read only so with this option you can 
make the page read only you can specify different different conditions authorization also you can give so many options we will discuss about this option in future videos so whenever you want to create any page items or content in the page you need to create in content body so just right click on content body then create region i will change the region name employee report okay then save and run you can see the difference you can see okay then coming to workspace so currently this type is static content if you want to create report you can select interactive report so when you select interactive report the framework is asking you to either select the table name or you can write your own query so currently first i will select the table so it will show all your database tables then search emp table emp selected then click save run wow you can see the employee report so from the action menu you can choose columns whichever you don't want you can hide some columns apply you can hide the columns so if you want to download the report you can download from here you can sort segregate compute flashback you can create chart also with this report So if you want to write custom query then here you can select SQL query. So previously I have selected table so if you change from table to SQL query framework will defaultly take write the SQL query. So you can write like this then ok save run you can see here. So if you want to this is the interactive report you can change this if you want to hide this search bar and action you can come to attributes then here include search bar you disable it so if you disable it will hide then we will create different report this is the interactive report why this is taking too much time So if you want to display the header, you can select, then you can come to appearance, then change the template to standard, then the header which you given appear, this one. You can make this as collapsible, if you select collapsible, just change and see. So like this, show and hide. You can also specify by default it should be collapsed or what. So here you can change. 
me you can change the button also plus or minus C plus minus then if you select blank with attributes just see the headers will not display then if you select this to alert see it's alert icon will come then then what all carousel container if you select carousel container it will be carousel will you can if you want to create two three report side by side then you can use this carousel option it will be sliding based on time then collapsible we did hero in line interactive report we'll select standard then run so this is the interactive report i will enable search bar once again or once again so if you want to change this default go you can give name here right side search bar then you can give searcl search okay see you can change the name change the name then you can change the pagination pagination you can change Just see here, you can also select row per base selector. You can you can select how many rows you want to display in one page. So if you select five, whenever you log in, the report default show five rows. If you want to save this permanently you can click on this then come add on report then save report as default report setting okay this is the interactive report and i will create classic report classic report just click on right click on content body create region then employee emp report save this is employee classic report just we created region if you want to click edit you can click on click edit then who you are cursor to whichever portion you want to edit so this one we are going to edit just click select and click on that then here from the type you select classic report then again same thing like previous table or this one okay, we will select table select emp emp save run so this is the classic report by default there will be no search option there will be no download option and there will be no column sorting column hiding by default so if you want to stretch this report you can come to attributes then template option click select stretch report save while run the report will stretch to full screen okay then if you want to if you if you want to show this two reports side by side then just select second report 
then here start new row just disable this one so then your report will connect side by side see so if you want to give download option then you can come to attributes then below csv export you can enable you can give download option you can download the report so this is the classic report this is interactive report interactive report we can change the template option we, we have so many we have cards we have badge list we have comments we have content row then we have media list we have search result just change one by one i see the effects i currently i will select badge list so this is the badge list then we'll change that to cards so see this is the cards so in the, in the report query you need to give card title card text card sub, sub subtext as the your column name so respective column data will display here let's change one thing and see how it reflect we'll go to sql query i want to display card title as employee name in card title say and run see now card title change to this one then i want to display card text card text as job or text changed then similarly our subtext will change to higher date I did. Okay, then you can also display icons here. So just click on this one. You can change the style of card. You select compact. You select icons. I want to display icons. Here you can give icon. Then you can also specify how many columns of cards you want in the report. Then filter change. So if you select featured, it will look like this. Then we have block. select block it will look like this based on your requirement you can change I will like the first one compact and okay 